want to talk about supplementing your substrate so that you can boost your yield and make more money growing mushrooms. Right now we're working with a mushroom called chestnut mushroom. This is a common name. The, the Latin name for this is Foliota aptoposa. I'm one of a few growers in Canada and maybe a handful of growers in North America that's even playing around with this mushroom right now. So we're doing a streamline of, of our mix with all of our production currently, which is about 10 to 10 to 15 percent bran, 3 percent oyster shell, and hardwood chips. And what we're doing, what we're starting to do right now, is that we're noticing with certain strains that our yields are just not as interesting, and we're looking at other ways to boost that yield. And with that we're starting to play around with brewer's waste or spent grain which is a waste product to the beer industry and I've just happened to connect with Detonate and Nate he owns Detonate in Summerland here and it's such a great way for us to partner with a local business and use their waste product and grow more mushrooms so right now we're in the trial stage we're playing around with our like I said our chestnut mushroom so this this has been growing for about 15 days on poplar. This is 10% supplemented brewer's waste, 15% bran, 3% oyster shell on poplar wood chips and I just happened to get a big batch that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Again we're going to be doing some more chestnut mushrooms but we're also looking to play around with lion's mane and hopefully boost the yield with that. So I happen to have Faith here and she's mixing the wood chips here for us right now. So we have some bran, we have our spent brews waste grain, oyster shell, and we're still using poplar right now. And this this is uh, this is fresh about two days ago, and we spread it out on these wood chips here, just to kind of slightly dry it out. We don't want this to mold, but it's something that I'm still playing around with, and I'm not really sure how I can handle too much of this waste product. So all we did is add eight buckets to this, which is about 10%. And we're gonna we're gonna track this and see if we can get a nice yield and hopefully get more than half a pound of mushrooms per block. Because right now that's our that's our control. Is that was that's what we seem to be getting consistently with chestnut mushrooms is about half a pound of mushrooms. And what the problem is with chestnut mushrooms is that they like to fruit about about four to five weeks. From initiation into our greenhouse and then by the time we're even considering getting a second flush the greenhouse is definitely done anything that's growing in there is either fruited twice or even three times and the chestnuts have only fruited once so half a pound of mushrooms only yields us at our price point about seven dollars and fifty cents per block and for our numbers we're always looking to hit about ten dollars per block and I only have two choices I can increase the price or I can increase the yield and I already know that I'm at the cap for the price for this mushrooms for chefs so we're looking at increasing the yield right now so instead of top fruiting our chestnut mushrooms like we have in the past where we do smaller four pound bags and we have an air pocket and we initiate and top fruit we're looking to do side fruiting where we have larger bags so in this case we're gonna do six pound bags they're gonna be on their side we're gonna cut a slit we're probably doing an X pattern and we're just going to let the mushrooms push through the plastic and fruit out that way. So not only are we going to have two pounds more of substrate, we're going to have 10% of more supplementation. In this case we're using the waste product, the brewer's grain, and I'm hoping we can exceed a pound of mushrooms per block. That is the goal. And if we can do that, we're just going to fruit these one and done and then chuck them away. And we can do that because we're getting $14 a pound for these mushrooms. We're going to hit our numbers and we're going to provide an awesome product for the chefs. And we're still have, we still have five greenhouses here that we can mix and match different strains and be profitable however we, however we choose. So that, that's, that's really important is that we like to offer a lot of variety for our clients and we just need to make sure that we hit the numbers. So right now we're, we're just starting to get away from our basic mix and we're starting to play around with supplementation. I think it's just a great way to use a local waste product to do that. And I haven't worked anything out with Nate yet from Detonate and there is there is talks possibly about us possibly getting into doing a mushroom beer with him. 
but that is just the early stages we're just talking about that but possibly we could do some kind of trade we get the spent grain we possibly give him our seconds and he does some kind of mushroom infused beer whether it's oyster or, or rishi or what have you you know it's exciting that we could actually possibly have a what the fungus beer made from detonate which is a local brewery here in summerland i think it's pretty cool so these these are the kind of things that that i'm always thinking about and we've, we've only played around with spent grain twice now and we haven't even fruited mushrooms from it yet so i don't know what the yields are but i'll keep you guys posted what's really important is that i want you guys to understand is that we experiment on this farm a lot i'm not afraid to fail i'm always pushing forward so so with that i'm going to show you one failure uh, in one of our other vlogs i'll put the link up here i talked about king's trefaria and we were doing a casing layer with our compost i just dug right into the center of our wood-based compost which you, which you can see back there and i didn't pasteurize it i just cased the top and about five or six weeks later no strafaria fruiting in our greenhouse and we have green mold unfortunately growing everywhere if you guys can see this so green mold and this this is definitely from the casing layer unfortunately and and unfortunately we had no mushrooms grow either so obviously it's it's not a big deal i only did four bags but it, what, what's interesting is that it could have worked out but in this case it didn't but not a big deal you know like don't be afraid to try stuff don't be afraid to push the envelope that's what i do with my business here and if you guys are interested i'm going to teach you guys just how to do that we have a mentorship course on our website right now i'm not going to get into the details i've talked about this in lots of our other vlogs but 2018 is up and you can send me an email if you guys have any questions that's a bcallow at wtfmushrooms.com Anyways, we'll talk to you guys later.